want to say? I got ideas for more parts. Smiley face. Your message to Jade Wheelcutter says I got ideas for more parts. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. Thank you. No fucking you're welcome? Rude bitch. Back, Ryan Cruzy. I don't know what episode this is. Six, maybe seven. Of uh, building a bagger on a budget. We are almost out of the budget, and we're almost done with the bike. I think we might have passed the budget, to be quite honest. But we'll figure all that shit out in one of these videos. Uh, the only thing we're waiting on right now is speaker grills. Right? Mm -hmm. Did you order those? Yes. What do they look like? Are they nice? I didn't even see them. They're just like straight inserts. They just fill in that hole, like the ones on my bagger. Are they metal or cloth? Uh, metal. Okay. Nice to make something cool. Man, like a billet fucking plate that goes there. You just get rid of your speakers. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 shit. Oh, man, did I just think of something fucking new. Fucking stump bunnies right there on both sides. Oh, my God. Different colors. Ooh. How fast can I get those made? I want to put them on this. Have them done in gold to match the shocks. Have them just cut so they, they sit flush, like flush on the shit right there. Yeah. Do the same f shit as our primary, the lines yeah. with the fucking ball milled in stunt bunny in it. God damn, that shit's going to be dope. Shadrack, you're not getting a stereo anymore. <laughs> this shit's going to be way too cool. F*** the stereo, it's going. We'll just run the fucking saddlebag speakers or something. We'll put it all in the saddlebags too, so. Or, or, those louvers that are cut could be cut all the way through. So they were fucking speaker grills. Fucking <laughs> boom! Fucking mind blowing right there. Oh my god! New parts. Fuck! I gotta write this down. I'm gonna forget about it in fucking ten minutes. Where's my book? This bike's almost done. Uh, I pawned the wiring off on Dave. <laughs> he does a lot. I feel like I'm very, very good at wiring because nasty like that shit was an extremity. The wiring had to be the cleanest, craziest shit you ever seen. So that's how I do it. But Dave does it that way also for 20 more years than I have. <laughs> so he's got it fucking dialed like the dude. And just doing wiring sucks. But he's got it fucking dialed. He does some really pretty work. He came in with some new ideas that I think are even nicer than what we did at NASI. And it's what we do now. Because handlebars, cables, wiring ruins a fucking motorcycle build. Wiring anywhere on the bike ruins a motorcycle build. Underneath the fairing, I don't care if you never see what's underneath the fairing. It should be beautiful underneath the fairing. So whoever works on this thing after me someday down the road, they pull the fairing off and go, Fuck, man, these dudes did a really nice job, whoever worked on this before. Not, fuck these cocksuckers. What's this goddamn rat's nest under here? That's what I look at every single time I work on someone else's shit. Stealth exhaust. Where in the f*** did I put that anisees? Did I put it on the bike already? Throw a little anisees on the nuts. Always, always on the exhaust nuts because they get hot and they rust and rust and heat. Kind of makes a makes for a nice welder most of the time. This is kind of routine maintenance. You should ex check your exhaust nuts, make sure they're tight. Like say every oil change, something like that. That's probably something I should start doing myself because last time I looked at my bike, I was missing my rear exhaust nuts, but wasn't leaking. A little something. I don't scratch my shit. Bagger shit. Bagger buddies. Bagger buddies. You're the one. You make wheelie riding so much fun. Bagger buddies. You're the only one for me. Bagger buddies. At bagger buddies on Instagram. Start tagging bagger buddies and we'll repost your shit. You can become a bagger buddy. You have to follow and then tag your shit and... Trent will repost your shit. I'll put some anisees on these two because I want to take them out later on and put a Thunder Max in this eventually. Right now, we're just going to not worry about that. Rubber ducky. Only wants the Thunder Max solely for the rev limiter, too, which fully like, understandable. Yeah, that's yeah. like the majority of 
Yeah, everybody wants a Thunder Max. It's the only way you're getting a rev limiter that's legit. Like, they all have rev limiters. All bikes, since electronic ignition existed, have a fucking rev limiter. My bike don't have a rev limiter. It just goes and goes and goes. No, it doesn't. It's just revving, and it's not going wop, bop, bop, bop. It's just going bah, and it's staying right there. Wah, wah. Sounding like shit. Motherfucker's got a rev limiter, though. But if you want a good sounding rev limiter, which fuel injection rev limiter is lame, for sure. Wom bum 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 I come to bring you a lame rev limiter. I gotta put a Thunder Max in it, dog. So just film from the back of my shirt. No, go back over there. So, uh, f which O2 centers? Which O2 center? Which one's the front? Which one's the f***ing rear? Do you remember? Because right here, the gray one's in the back. Oh. So, so would that be... the longer one? They, they are the exact same. Are they? So, I'm going to put gray in the back because... There's a peak lamp on one of them to see where maybe a peak lamp could go. That could be anywhere. I know. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of places yeah. peak lamps could go here. Uh, we got a book for this, right? Yeah. We're Holy at. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used one of these in a long time. I don't even know where to look. Damn it. It says that the rear is black, the front is gray. But it is a different setup than what we have in that fucking guy. Well, on that note, I guess we're going with Gray's front. Come on, baby. There we go. This spike is legitimately almost done. Yeah. Pretty excited about that. it up between the motor right here, get a little more airflow, get a little less shit in my way when I gotta work on this bike down the road. You need to remedy this, Steve. This pointing straight down into the top of the tranny, you put a big wide band O2 sensor in here, there's not gonna be shit for room. This needs to come out like, then it's in the way of this a bunch, so you got a little bit of a problem here. Maybe if it comes out this way, it's in the way. Hmm. Which way do you go? Hard to get O2 sensor in or hard to get the, the exhaust nut on? And these, where they have them close to the heads themselves, is where they should be. O2 sensors way down here, way away from them, it's not really doing shit right. Especially if it's a wide band. Need that shit up close and personal. shit going on today kind of getting back to this the pipes all done and it installs very easily uh, once you get it installed the right way I am gonna make a change though that I, I think this is a little too long in the collector right here this is as far as the pipe will go down because it's it's butted up to the baffle on the weld so I'm gonna cut like from here I'm gonna cut it back here so this slides all the way up to it and there's enough adjustment in here that it'll just slide back and the mount will still be the same and then this will be a little less I don't like how this is under the bag right here I want to move it forward so it's kind of nice that they leave you this extra that you can cut it and fit it to where you want to and then there's a ton of room I'm at the very end of the adjustment right here and I've got probably an inch and a half two inches I'm gonna measure all that shit out so I can just slide this forward you don't have to mess with the mount the mount is very adjustable 
Uh, should sound really good. I have the same pipe coming from my M8 that I got from House of Harley in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I have the same pipe coming polished, but I'm going to run the, is it the H-bomb muffler? A-bomb? Some kind of bomb muffler. It's dope as fuck. It's what I have on my Dyna. I'm going to run it. It's a different style muffler. It's going to fit different, because I'm also going to run these guys, so it's going to fit different. I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Longer, shorter, whatever the fuck, but, uh, that's it. Stealth pipes, all these are available on cruisyoriginals.com. Or you can call the shop. We'll put the number down below. Remember, like, subscribe, hit the bell down there, get those notifications so you don't miss out on any of these videos because we got a bunch of really dope shit coming. This is almost done. Next is the stunt tail. It's an 08 night train that we we're going to build into a stunt bike of some sorts. Who knows? Maybe it'll work. That's going on next. Then we have a 2021 road glide that we just got from House of Harley, and we're going we're gonna to we're gonna build that. That's going to take place the Road King. That's going to be the next level. Some wild shit. I'm going to build real mid controls for it. We got Legend Suspension on the way. Saddleman Seat is already on the way. We got a full polished stealth pipe that's shipped out already. That's on its way. There, those dudes are on top of it. We're going to tune it. Probably S&S &S intake on it and just run a tune. Harley Davidson tune for now because it's really the only thing that's available. And it also keeps the warranty for now, which I don't care about the warranty because I'm going to make it a 124 eventually because I want something stupid. Something something ridiculous we're also going to put this whole entire front end on that bike as well the whole dyna conversion because it's fucking amazing uh, i got the same risers coming but a little bit taller and some speed kings bars chrome it's gonna be a good time i gotta put some miles on it. it's only got 40 miles on it so far but anyways like subscribe ring that motherfucking bell and thank you very much because this shit is growing remember tell a friend cruise originals we do dope shit